welcome to NTP. And we've noticed that a few students are struggling with calculating the number of hours that it takes to travel a journey when you've been given in the exam the number of kilometres for the journey and the average speed. Now it's absolutely crucial that you nail this process because this is the difference between getting marks on a schedule and not. And invariably the schedule does account for a significant amount of marks in the question. So we've got three examples today we're going to have a little look at. First one, 288 kilometres at 80 kilometres per hour. So we need to work out how long it's going to take to travel that distance. So, calculator. In the calculator, we're going to put 288 kilometres. We're going to divide it by the average speed. So, 288 divided by 80. And on the calculator, it gives us 3.6. What's the 3.6 represent? So, three is three complete hours. The six, which is 0.6, is actually 0.6 of an hour, or 60%. So we've got to work out how many minutes of an hour that is. So, we'll take our 0.6, we'll multiply the 0.6 by 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, and that will give us our answer. So on the calculator, we'll take our 0.6, we'll multiply it by the 60 minutes in an hour, which gives us 36. So we now know that 288 divided by 80 kilometers per hour is three hours and 36 minutes. Three hours, 36 minutes. Quite an easy one to work out. So, if we move on to the next example that we've got, this example is a slightly irregular one, but there is logic behind it. We've got 325 kilometres at 75 kilometres per hour. So we're going to do exactly the same as what we did before. We're going to take our 325 kilometres, we're going to divide it by our average speed of 75. So on the calculator, 325 divided by 75 gives us an irregular answer. We actually get 4.3333333 or 4.3 recurring. So what does this mean? We have got four complete hours and if you think back to your days when you was learning the maths 0.3 is a third and a third of an hour is 20 minutes. So our driving time for this would be four hours and 20 minutes. Yeah, nice irregular one, but easy. Okay, so let's move on to our third example. So our third example gives us 123 kilometers at 60 kilometers per hour. Exactly the same procedure as before. We're going to take our 123, we're going to divide it by 60. So on our calculator, 1, 2, 3, divided by, uh, by um, 60, gives us 2.05. Again, we've got two complete hours and 0.05 of an hour. So 0.05 of an hour. What's that represent? Pop it in our calculator, so we put 0. 05. Don't forget to put that zero in it, otherwise it's going to give you the wrong answer. So 0 0.05 multiplied by our 60 minutes gives us three, which is three minutes. So our answer is two hours and three minutes. Hopefully those will help explain how to calculate the time taken from the information given. As I said earlier, absolutely vital that you nail that process. It is crucial. Have a look in the course. There is a help sheet that will give you uh, a reminder on how to do this. You can take that into your exam in the, in the afternoon. Hope that helps. More videos coming up to help make the process easier for you. See you soon.